everyone. Today I'm doing a video on Igor, which was a movie that came out in 2008. Sadly, the movie did not do well. I mean, I like the animation style. The characters were interesting. I mean, it did fairly well. It got a prequel comic series, three of them. And it got a DS game. Oh, and a Wii. And a PC game. Wait, uh, let's see. According to the comic, it got a... Yeah, a game. Yeah, for the Wii. Oh, so the comic kind of contradicts events of the first movie. The comic basically says scientists have to go to a store to buy an Igor to be their... Yeah, Igor? Well, actually, they pick one out, actually. Kind of like a daycare for Igors. Actually, I don't think it contradicts the movie. <laughs> so, why did, so why isn't there an Igor 2? I believe they were going to make one with the end of the second one. Hinton, he was going to create a dog. But it never happened. I think what basically messed up the e yeah, Igor is it was supposed to come out during October. But due to some problems, it got delayed until... November. And I believe that November release date is the biggest reason it did not do well in theaters. It was a month late. I think it was supposed to be on Halloween or October something. I don't know. But I do like the characters. The story is okay. I mean, it's not offensive. There's no this and that. I do like the comics as well. Though I would definitely say they kind of scamper. Well, one of my favorite characters. They kind of, well, uh, uh, yeah. His character is, he does not want to live anymore. But Igor made him immortal. So he cannot die. Quite possibly my favorite scene or the best scene in the movie is when they were um, looking at uh, brainwashing um, Igor's creation, Eve. Eva? Uh, he, Scamper opens a card and it blows a hole in his face. You see his brain and his face regenerate really fast. And yeah, he's completely fine after that. That? I would actually have to praise that. That was actually amazing. The way it was animated, the. Uh, The character designs are really interesting in the movie. The game, though, is a little bit of a bust. Uh, Ego creates another monster with combined parts of creatures you fight. Then you have to enter tournaments, and then you're supposed to fight Schadenfreude, beat him, and then save the day. The whole point of the game is, um, what was it? Tetris. It, it's, it's like Tetris. You gotta stack the boxes, red with red, green with green, and other colors. Then, you have to get more scores, and then your creation can attack the opponents. So every time you get a, you, um, yeah, get some points, whatever creature attacks the other creature. It kind of makes it a bit, um, a bit unfair, especially when others are faster, but whatever. <clears throat> Have not played the Wii or the PC one.
But yeah, um, according to the PC and Wii version, it looks like it was going to be a free roam game, which I really wish I could have done that for the... Well, uh, the DS, I really couldn't do that because they would be heavily limited in what they can do. Also, some more screenshots of the game from the PC and Wii. The all characters seem okay. Uh, I know this movie's not D. It's not DreamWorks, nor is it Disney. It was made by. Shoot, who did make it? Um. What company did make it? Um. So, um, but I do think the movie is a cult classic, yes. And I do really hope that the movie never gets a sequel, because I think it ended pretty well. The movie does have a Oh, the movie is PG. Mild language, oh uh, yeah, um... I think the only swear in the movie is when the villain Shockingford says, damn it. No, he actually does say it. I saw in the subtitles. So there was swearing in the movie, but not too much. I mean, they don't say fuck or other horrible ones you would see in R-rated movies. And there is death. Um... I think there's like seven deaths if one count the creations at the final that Eva rips apart. Some of them were living as they were plants. So I guess they would count. Then the mayor gets killed. The mayor kind of looks like the mayor from Nightmare for Christmas. I think it's a coincidence, but still. But yeah, I enjoyed the movie. I would say I recommend the game, but... Yeah, good luck finding the game. Especially the Wii or the... Well, the PC version you could probably still get. It's probably free now or should be extremely low because, again, this came out in 2008, maybe 2009. It has been over 10 years since it came out, so... As for the comics, uh, as I know, they only made three of them, and that's it. Um, the, the prequel comics. Um, I actually forget where I got them. I got them at some comic store in Lynn. Long, 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 long time ago for like three ninety nine each. Actually, I think they were like $2 each. <coughs> Alright. Also, today is Native American Heritage Month. I'm gonna think of doing some Native American matches on this channel. Unfortunately, the only ones I can think of is Tack and the Power of the Juju or Nightwolf. Maybe Apache Chief, since, I mean, he's a DC character, so he might have some impressive feats. Hmm. I might use Nightwolf versus someone. Alright, so hope everyone has a. Wonderful mom, hope everyone had a fun Halloween. So, hope everyone had fun. Right, bye.